Well, agitating doctors have left to meet the CM of West Bengal, Mamata Banerjee, after government agreed to their demands of signing copies of transcript. Remember, the standoff continued over the last few days with the agitating doctors demanding a live telecast of the meeting, but the government was not ready for it, saying that this matter is subjudice and the government was not ready to live telecast it. Now, there's been a climb down by the doctors. The doctors have uh, have said that they are okay with a, with a video recorded transcript of the meeting. Uh, the government has basically okayed it. The meeting is uh, going on. Didi and doctors find a meeting ground. Finally, the doctors have said that they would need a full transcript of the meeting. The government has invited the doctors again for a discussion today. The government has agreed to sign the copy of the transcript. Transcript. In fact, the government has said, and I quote, as mentioned in my previous email, the representatives of both the parties will sign the minutes at the end of the meeting and the copies will be shared with each other to ensure clarity and agreement on the discussions. Joining me now is Saurabh Gupta who has been tracking this case. Uh, Saurabh, uh, this climb down by the doctors, uh, how did that happen and what exactly is happening in Kolkata now uh, between the chief minister and the doctors? Are they meeting and what is expected from this? Yes, the meeting has started is what we are being given to understand. The two stenographers who came with the junior doctors have also been allowed in. And, uh, you know, the doctors have gone in, so the meeting has started. This is the lane leading into Mamata Banerjee's house in Kalighat. And the doctors, of course, the bus dropped them right at the gate and has now come out. And what we are being given to understand is that the meeting is finally underway as, uh, you know, uh, the doctors have gone in. But uh, what will be the outcome is something that's still anyone's guess. What we are being given to understand is that the meeting has begun. And, uh, of course, uh, you know, the both sides will exchange minutes of the meeting after the meeting is done uh, to ensure that they have, uh, you know, uh, like a proper record of what transpired at the meeting and who said what. Now, obviously, uh, you know, when it comes to the demands of removal of the health secretary, removal of, uh, you know, uh, three or four officials from the health department, including the health secretary, that is something that, of course, uh, the chief minister said there's a process. And, he has to cons and she has to consult certain others in the government. So once that is done, perhaps, you know, uh, these demands will be put forth by the doctors. And then, of course, the chief minister will tell them what the state government has done for their safety and security, what the state government will do in future to uh, help, you know, to sort of uh, ensure that they call off the strike and call off the protest near Swastavavan. Sort of also tell us uh, what is happening to the investigation that's going on into this case because we saw the arrest of uh, uh, Sandeep Ghosh. Uh, you, uh, basically, uh, first his arrest happened due to irregularities with respect to the functioning of the college and then, of course, his involvement with respect to tampering of evidence. Where is that investigation headed uh, by the CBI? Well, you know, the CBI has to file a status report in the Supreme Court tomorrow on Tuesday when it, uh, of course, the Supreme Court takes up the case. Now, uh, the CBI has arrested uh, these two people uh, and the remand application explains the cause of arrest, one of them being delay in filing FIR or delay in reaching the spot or, you know, certain aspects of the collection of evidence. Uh, now, obviously, uh, you know, uh, uh, the lawyer for these two uh, uh, accused... Uh, alleged that, you know, or said in court that these were bailable sections, but obviously, you know, the court has sent them to today's CBI custody. The CBI has uh, time to interrogate them in custody or confront them, like the CBI said, while seeking remand. So once that's done, perhaps the CBI will be in a clearer position to say, or at least explain to the court as to where that information, uh, where that investigation is headed and what, uh, you know, progress has been achieved.